Hi, and welcome to the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. Today, I want to take a look at the differences between the character ROMs in the Apple IIe and the Apple II Plus and see if we can improve the characters in my Apple II Plus. So, let's get started. Way back in episodes 32 and 33, I showed how to add lowercase support to my Apple II Plus using the Vitex Enhancer 2 keyboard encoder board. And if you recall, I needed to make some changes to the Apple F8 ROM to make lowercase appear properly on the screen, for example, right here. But one thing that always bugged me is the characters in that Vitex character ROM never really looked quite proper and they didn't look like the actual Apple characters. So you can see, I don't know, some of these uppercase characters look a little funky. The lowercase a looks a little weird. And so it just always kind of bugged me. Plus I also had the problem where if you go over any of the lowercase characters with the cursor, it would change to symbols. And I fixed this in my character ROM, but the Vitex one always had this problem. So what I wanted to do, since I had the cover off of my Apple II Plus and I had taken the keyboard out to repair that other Apple II keyboard, is I decided to replace the character ROM. So I want to take a look right now at the differences between the Apple IIe character ROM and the Apple II Plus character ROM. So at the end of this project, we're going to have four different fonts that we've had to deal with. The first is the Apple II Plus's original fonts. And the problem with these is they're all uppercase and we really need the lowercase. So next we can take a look at the Videx character ROM, uh, but as we've seen, these are actually kind of ugly, even though they have all the right characters. So what we really want is a combination of the Apple IIe's lowercase characters with the Apple II Plus's original character set. The problem with the Apple IIe is the format of the character ROM is completely different. So as you can see, the fonts themselves are actually backwards, the bits are in the wrong order, and they're shifted. So the Apple IIe's characters start one row higher than the Apple II Plus. And we can actually see this if we take a look at the startup screen between the Apple IIe and the II Plus. So you can see that it's actually shifted just up by one. So we have our work cut out for us if we want to combine these. And what I did is I just wrote a Python script that takes the Apple II Plus's original characters and combines them with the Apple IIe. And then in doing that, we have to take the Apple IIe's characters, we have to reverse the bits, we have to shift it by one, and then finally we have to copy the lowercase characters in from the Apple IIe's to the correct location in the Apple II Pluses. So once we've done all that, we end up with a character set that actually looks like what we want. And in addition, as a bonus, I also took the little Apple from the 2E's font and just stuck that at the end of the Apple II Plus's font uh, just as a little bonus character. You can't actually type this on the keyboard, it's the rub out character, uh, but it's fun to have there. So let's go ahead and program this using the Arduino programmer that I created a long time ago and then we'll try it out in the 2 Plus. One more thing I should mention way back in episode 33 is I also had to modify the F8 ROM to allow lowercase input on the Apple II Plus. So if you recall, I had to make changes at three places. The first was FD83 to prevent it from converting lowercase to uppercase. The second was at FD11, and this was to prevent it from using flashing characters. And finally, at FBB4, I had to insert a new subroutine so that it would make the space care blink when you backed over it, but keep the lowercase characters as lowercase inverse when you backed up over them. So if you're wondering why your Apple II Plus isn't outputting lowercase characters, make sure that you've also burned the new F8 ROM as well and go back and take a look at episode 33 on details on how to do that. We've got the new Apple II Plus lowercase chip installed and you can see the normal letters and numbers work fine. When I hit the left arrow, over the space, it's blinking, and then over the numbers and the letters, it's just a solid cursor. So this is slightly different from the original Apple II Plus, uh, but that's because we needed to make room by getting rid of the flashing characters so we could put in the lowercase. If we hit Shift Reset 
that will switch to lowercase. And now you can see we have really nice looking lowercase letters which are just the same as the ones on the Apple IIe. So this looks a lot better. And then when we go left arrow over them, they get highlighted nicely and everything works great. So one cool feature that this uh, Enhancer 2 board has that I have in there, in addition to doing lowercase like this, is it also has a type ahead buffer. So we got a little program here, which takes a little bit of time. And then while it's running, we'll type some characters and you can see they actually came out after the program finished. Normally with the Apple, it would have actually swallowed those characters until the program was done and it could respond to the keyboard again. So that's a nice feature of that Enhancer 2 board. Uh, in addition, it also has a fast repeat. So if we hold down a letter, then it repeats, but then if we hold down the repeat key, we get like a super quick repeat. So that's kind of nice. So my conversion of my Apple II Plus to have lowercase was a success. I now have the same character set in my II Plus that I have in the 2E and the 2C. So it looks a lot nicer. I'll go ahead and I'll put the Python program as well as the Apple II Plus lowercase character ROM up on the Internet Archive when I upload this video to there. So thanks for watching.